Hi everybody, Steffi here from The Makers. I'm going to show you how to make these um, realistic antlers for a needle felted project, I suppose. Um, of course you can use them for anything you like, but these specifically are made for our reindeer in our Makers box number 65 in October 2022. And um, you will have had all the materials and the correct materials in the maker's box as well. So I have got them right in front of me now. And what you do need is a green wire, which is um, the thicker green wire, uh, stem wire that we um, stock. And also you've got a thin aluminium wire, which also comes in the maker's box. And then you, furthermore, you're getting a whole reel of florist tape. This is the beige florist tape. If in any time in the future you want to make antlers in a different color, then of course just use different colored florist tape. I will also have to use some pliers um, to cut the um, softer aluminium wire. So you could get away with um, scissors. And I've got a piece of plastic here because there's a lot of gluing involved in these antlers. And for this, I've got my um, glue stick which is a PVA, clear drying glue. Love these, use these all the time. I go through so many of them. And um, But I have also got a tiny bit of water here because sometimes this PVA glue is actually quite thick and it can do with being watered down a little bit. I've also got the instructions for making the antlers. And what's most important, I have got the template on here, which will help me to make the basic wireframe and then the finished antlers so that I have an idea for sizing and um, the shape as well. So that's all I've got at the moment. So I'm going to the over screen, overhead um, screen now uh, so that um, we're all, you can all see what I'm doing here. I'm putting this plastic sheet out of the way for now because I don't actually need this. But what I uh, do need is the green wire. I'm going to bend this so that, so that it is slightly um, in a curved shape like this, like this. Okay, so you've now got a, a curved shape here. Remember there is a, a template in the um, instructions, so you can already look at it in that way. There, that's it. So I'm making one set of antlers at, uh, um, at a time in the instructions, but I'm actually suggesting that you can make them simultaneously, so switch from one to the other. But before I get to this, I've got to cut the aluminium wire into certain lengths. So I need two 19 centimeter lengths, two 12 centimeter lengths, and four 5 centimeter lengths. On the left hand side here of the instructions, I've got my handy tape measure, so I'm going to use that now. So I'm going to go for the longer ones first. That's the 19 centimeter. Because I know it's 19, I'm just going to measure it against the wire to cut my second. That's the second. And now I'm going to do two 12 centimeter. And the second one I'm going to measure against my wire again. There. And then I need four five centimeter ones, which I'm going to cut again from my first cut wire. You will have a bit of wire left over and I suggest if you are totally unfamiliar with florist tape you could use that little bit of wire that you've got left over to uh, practice um, your wrapping techniques of um, the florist tape. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm um, um, take the 12 centimeter wire. So I've got them all here. Um, I can tell which one is which. So you need obviously one set for each antler. So you have one 19, one 12, and then two five and two five for each antler. And I'm going to start the, with a 12 centimeter wire. So it's not the shortest and it's not the longest. It's the one in between. And um, I, wi I wind this around one antler so that it looks a little bit like that. So they're sticking out almost opposite each other like that. At the moment, they're quite slippy, still I can adjust them and that's fine. And then I'm going to do the second one. But with the second one, I'm actually 
Um, so you try and have about five centimeters sticking out here. And I'm starting this here. And then I'm wrapping the wire around the green wire going up till I've got another length sticking out, but this time not opposite, but sort of further along. This probably could have been a bit longer. If that is the case, what you can do is you can actually unwind it a bit to make it longer and then push it down and then wind the other one up a bit there. So you can adjust it a little um, if need be. So I've now got um, two opposite each other, one on the same side as that one and then another one on the same side as the other one but slightly up. And then I'm going to wrap my shorter wire length. So I'm making two pointy bits here and um, so the two five centimeter wind, e wind, them, wind them around each of the wires facing up on, on the and now I'm going to actually look at the template because the, it is color coded so you know that the purple one or pink one is the 12 centimeters the green is the 19 and then the orange ones are the five centimeters so looking at it that way you get a much better idea of where the wires need to go so for this you probably need your wire um, cutters because it's easier to bend the wire around just to get the first wrap and then keep going around it. Let me hold the bottom shut and then go around it. So you've got you're wrapping one around the other and you've got two lengths here. Now the good news is that um, reindeer have got actually got different wires from the left, uh, sorry, different antlers, left and right antlers are not necessarily the same. Uh, to stop them from slipping, if you don't want them to slip, you just give them a bit of a pinch and it will just fasten them on. And then you're going to do the same here. So wrap that around the other one. The, the, the smaller wires are probably the trickiest because they are shorter and you don't get so much of a leverage twisting them. So twist them as best as you can, shut them close and just make sure that um, you haven't got a, stick, a wire sticking out um, because then that will pierce the uh, florist tape. So I'm just going to... pinch this shut. There we go. So now I've got, um, let's swivel it round, that way round. So I've got, um, now I've got two bits coming off here, always just one there, and it's exactly as in the template with a sort of slight size variations, but that's not a problem really. But then you've got to repeat it on the other side. So let's do that quickly. Start with a 12 centimeter. Just going to go around a couple of times yeah. and it's about there. I'm just going to pinch that shut here and then I need this one sticking out there. I'll wind that up and around. be bunched up a bit more. There. Maybe not that far. So you can move the wires around still as long as you haven't closed them up. And then the trickier bit is um, to get these wires onto the shorter wires. So these round here. The alternative, if you're finding this almost impossible to do, you can always leave the little wires off and just work with um, the, um, the bits that you can manage to get on. And 
shut this off there. Like I say, antlers come in all different sizes and shapes, so it is not necessarily an, um, an absolute essential to get these uh, in on in the exact same way. You can um, also do your own variation of this. And I find these are the trickier ones. These little wires are the trickier ones. Okay, here we go. Shut that up. Shut that close now. And that's my basic wire contraption here now. And like I say, don't worry too much if it's slightly different from the other side. Just keep it as, as much the same as possible. You can adjust these sort of slightly going up and down. And, um, and that's step one. Now, we need to wrap this whole contraption with florist tape. If you don't know um, how florist tape works, it works. Um, it only sticks to itself, and it only sticks to itself when you actually pull it. So it looks like this and when you pull it, it looks like that and then it becomes sticky. It's not like sticky sticky like super glue but it definitely becomes more sticky. So you start est by establishing um, the tape somewhere on the antlers and you're just going to wrap it around it, always making sure that it overlaps at some point and work with small manageable uh, lengths of tape. You really don't want to use great long um, pieces of tape that take ages to sort of thread through if you're, if you're threading it through. You can cr let it crinkle up. This doesn't need to look pretty. We just want to make sure that these wires don't move. So get down to the joints and start covering them up. Um, I might even tell you in the instructions to start just with the joints. I can't actually remember without looking. Um, so, like I say, these does, this is not the finished um, look by any means. We need to build up way more bulk on this florist tape. But you can see that the florist tape will stick as long as you uh, pull it gently, so stretch it, and then let it overlap itself. Even if you get it crinkled up, it will still sort of smooth over. Um, if you've got warm fingers, it works even better. Um, I find that after a while I get warm fingers, even if my fingers are cold to start with. So when you get to the end, make sure it sort of really um, stretches so that it it, um, it stops from unraveling. And the, um, the antlers might sort of twist around a little bit. So you always have these doubled up antlers here in the, in the middle and the simple ones on the outside. So maybe do start with a, um, getting these down so that they stop swiveling around. And I'm even twisting it a bit here. It's not even flat anymore. But that's fine too because you can squeeze it and pull it and then it will just stick to itself. So it is not essentially um, a, a pretty type of finish. Um, you really just want to get the wires covered, all of them. All of them, all of them, all of them. I'm going to build up a bit of speed at some point, no doubt. Just make sure the, the tape overlaps. That's one of the important bits. It must overlap. It only sticks to itself. And so the, the more you overlap it, the more it will be sticky. So it's best to move slowly and get it to overlap. And then work your way along the whole set of antlers. I'm paying particular attention that those joints are covered. At this point, we're not using any glue. It's not necessary. It really doesn't matter if it lifts off a little bit. We just want to roughly cover the shape of the antlers here. And what I might do is, um, so not to take up too much time, I might just do one side um, because there's quite a lot of um, stuff that's happening. Um, but you will be doing both sides 
So I'm only doing one side to um, save a little bit of time. You will be doing both sides. The, the, the tape tears off quite easily. I'm, look, I'm even doubling it up here at the moment. That's fine too. Whatever you need to do to just get these um, wires covered up is fine. And if you've got some left over, just tear it off. Start starting to stick to my fingers and my fingers are getting warm. They were a bit cold to start with, but now they're warming up. So, I start with a new piece, might as well, there. I always sort of tear off about 20 centimeters, something like that, then establish it first, pull it on, and wrap it around. You can at this point stretch the antlers away from each other so that they don't get into the way into the way of your working so I need to go up this bit here a bit and cover every single wire length with the florist tape I'm just gonna get that covered and use that little piece on the other side. And go down again. I think the project, if you're making the reindeer from the box, I think the antlers are probably the part that takes quite a, a, a while. Um, once they're done, you can leave them to dry and um, and then work on needle felting the reindeer. But um, what we're trying to do is with every box, and I apologize if you find this frustrating, but with every box we want to int introduce new techniques to teach you something new. Because at some point you might think, ah, I need to make some horns, or I need to make this or the other, and then you know a technique of how to do it. So. That is the reason why we are introducing new techniques to you. Right, I've got one side covered now. And uh, now I'm going to, it doesn't matter if they're pointy ends, ignore all of that. Um, what I'm going to do next is I've got to take um, the lanolin rich core, which is a separate bit of wool in my pack here. And that is specially for the antlers. So don't use the other colors. They are, um, it is clearly explained um, that the lanolin ridge core is for the antlers and the other stuff's for um, the reindeer himself. And now you've got to cover these antlers with wool because now we need to build up the bulk so that we've got a nice um, thick finish. So the lanolin ridge core wool loves being wrapped around wire. It loves sticking to itself as well. Not quite as much as um, the um, um, the, wire, uh, the florist tape, but you can literally just pull it and, um, and get that, that lovely lanolin to um, come out and help you make that stick. So get an initial layer of wool onto the florist tape so that it's on there. And um, remember, you have got a template now, which looks like this. So work your your um, antlers might look slightly different, but work with um, with the the thick the thick parts, the thickness of it, so that you've got a, a rough idea. Hang on, this is all gone. Ah, that way. It's that one. There, that way. Sorry, got the ref left and right muddled up. That's better. So work with um, work with it so that you've got um, a guide here. And remember that the, you might have different a different size because um, the antlers do not need to be exactly the same. It really doesn't matter if your set of antlers are, are different to the ones on the template. And what's more, it doesn't really matter if they're different to um, each other as well. Now notice that my um, a bit here is much taller 
than what I've left with the wire. You can even spill out a bit over the um, wire end. Uh, you could even felt that down if you wanted to, so that the end becomes a bit more firm. That's not described in the instructions, so this is an extra bit that um, has happened to me whilst I was um, wrapping this. So the wool layer goes on, tease the wool off the, the bulk of the lanolin so that it, it comes off in nice um, strands so that the, the fibres run in that strand way so that it's easy to wrap it on and um, and always work in small quantities. So don't, don't go um, wrapping thick layers straight away, just wrap them thin and um, and then um, build up the bulk so that you, you do it bit by bit. So I look at my wool and then I, I, I almost sort of pinch it in the middle and look, it just comes um, off quite easily. You will have to wrap all of this. So um, normally I would have had the other side of the antlers already covered in florist tape. I haven't done this because um, I, I don't want to spend all the time doing it. But your your other side of the antlers would be wrapped in the florist tape as well now. They do need to be attached to each other. That's quite important for uh, fitting it onto the reindeer later as well and then just take a guide of where they become thicker and where they are um, thinner on this template here. If the wool comes off, um, if you've built up sort of quite a large a thick layer, then you can of course needle felt it down a bit. Um, it doesn't mean to say that you have to just wrap and you're not allowed to do any felting. You are allowed to do felting if that's what you need to do and my antlers are definitely switching themselves around. So keep coming back to the position where they need to be in so that you um, you have the, a left and a right set of antlers. And bend them if you need to. Bend them out of the way, bend them so that they are more obliging. You get around these little parts, just really pull it tight. So you've got a nice tight layer of wool underneath it. Definitely will help with the next step. And another bit of this. I have used this technique before on, on uh, personal projects. Um, with um, making chicken legs actually because I've used wire and uh, florist tape and then realized that it wasn't thick enough so that you then you can add some wool on top of the florist tape and then wrap it again with florist tape which is exactly what we're doing next. So getting there so look at the, um, the sort of thickness of the um, wire and where it add, needs a little bit wool of a uh, little bit of wool adding and follow the template in order to do that. So the florist tape doesn't add bulk to it. It's actually the wool that adds your bulk. So you, you want the wool to be the bit that builds the bulk underneath it before you go over it again with um, florist tape. So we'll go around here a bit more. Make sure that you get these joins nicely integrated into the rest of the, um, the main sort of antler going up. That's not looking too bad at all. And ignore the fact that you have um, different antler bits, lengths, and might look different, slightly differently. Ignore that fact right now because um, all of that um, is unimportant. Um, it will look like an antler. Just make sure that it has got sort of 
thicker parts where they need to be according to the template and the thinner parts. And I am actually felting this down a little bit now because when the florist tape goes on top it will squish it down and then um, I, I can't um, add any more bulk to it. So I, I do want to know that the wool is nice and firm against the wire so I can see the size. So if need be, felt your wool down, um, stop past the wire, don't stop into the wire, um, because that will break your needle, obviously. And that definitely helps to see where you are at with that. Here we go. I think I'm going to leave it as that, and um, I'm going to show you now how to add another layer. So you will have um, also added this on the other side. Um, I've only added it on this side. And then you're going to um, establish that tape again. So on um, your instructions, it will tell you to leave the middle part of the wire uncovered with wool. It is covered with florist tape, but it's uncovered with wool. And the reason why it's uncovered with wool is because because um, that thicker part, you're really building up a thick part of wool layer later on, on top of the only the first layer of florist tape, because you're going to um, need to build up a, a thick part of, of wool there to fasten the um, um, antlers into the reindeer, which is the last one of the last steps. And the, the reason why it is one of the last steps is because you don't want the um, um, the antlers to be on the reindeer while you're doing other bits to finish it off. It's get they get in the way. I mean, it's even hard to even now um, um, wrap them with with without getting in each other's way. So I am now being really, really mindful that I am overlapping this florist tape. So there's no wool peak peeping out. And uh, you can sort of smooth it over with your fingers already. You really don't want any wool peeping out, okay? You're covering every single bit of wool. Um, work in small, with small batches. Try and go around the same direction. Overlay the tape if need be several times, especially when you get to these joint parts, which are quite hard to cover with the wool, uh, sorry, with the tape um, and cover all the wool up. So make sure that you are, this is a this is more diligent work than you've, you've had to do before when wrapping with a florist tape. This is, this is the bit where it matters that you really, really uh, uh, cover every single millimeter where you've had wool before. And keep checking that you're you haven't twisted the um, antler part so that they are facing in the wrong direction. So going around every single bit here, squish it down, pull it tight because that's how the tape gets stuck to itself. And um, don't worry too much if it lifts off a little bit. As long as you don't have any wool coming out, that's fine because we're going to cover the whole thing with glue and the glue will be um, making sure that the tape um, for example here I've got a bit of wool showing can you see that so I'm going to go over that again I don't want any wool showing the wool is completely disappearing underneath that second layer of florist tape so take care of that um, that that is all covered up and overlay the overlay the tape so that it um, sticks to itself. There, so that's the part at the bottom covered now. I'm working my way up. So always start somewhere where you've already got tape down, and then work your way further up. And make sure that those um, those parts where the the, the antlers um, split in different directions, you've got that covered. The antlers on um, the reindeer that I've made previously are probably a little bit thicker, 
So you have got quite a lot of um, um, florist tape and a quite a lot of lanolin rich to um, have a slightly, um, slightly more sturdier antlers, I suppose. You have got enough there. Um, but like I say, you can also go over it several times again with the florist tape. This is the bit that I've extended. Remember, I felted that down. There is no wire in the exact tip at the top. I'll give that a bit of a squeeze. When you glue it, it also um, takes care of, of the wrapped look. So it doesn't look quite so much like you've just wrapped it with um, something. The, the tape becomes more one smooth surface, um, which is great as well. So at the end of the um, these bits here, make sure that the tape definitely covers the end. Twisted. I've got a bit of wool showing here, so I'm going to go over that again. allow the end of the tape to sort of grip into the um, the tape underneath. So I'm going to go over this again just to make sure that the end is fully covered and there's no wool poking out. And I've got one more here. To do just checking that all the joints are all the different junctions that are coming off the antlers are covered because if you bend it later later if you bend it into place a bit more you might just open up that tape so make sure you've got a really good cover there um, you can tear or you can cut the florist tape I find it easier just to tear it In there. It's a very satisfied feeling once you've done these antlers done. I know they're a bit of a pain to uh, get them done initially. Um, they're probably right up there with the pumpkin feet. Uh, sorry, pump, pumpkin feet, what the heck. Uh, puffin feet, of course. There's no pumpkin feet. My head's full of pumpkins. <laughs> and um, if you've struggled with those, you've probably got a good practice actually now. Pull the tape, makes it sticky. Close up these tops here. And cover every single bit where you've added wool, cover it with florist tape. And then that one side is nearly done. So you would be working on the sides simultaneously. So by now you would have had that first layer of florist tape on the other side and then you would have added the wool as well and um, and now you would be adding your um, final layer of florist tape over the top. So don't worry too much if there are little bits of florist tape that want to sort of lift off because that is what we are using the glue for next. That will um, shrink down when it dries. It will shrink down the tape and it will sort of um, make it um, smooth over the last smooth over the last bits of of lumps and bumps. But it's definitely worth going over these joints so that later on, if you need to bend the antlers, you have the flexibility to do so because there's no wool going to come out on the other side. So that's what I'm doing right now. I want to go over it again. And once you've done that, then you make sure that you've got them facing in the right direction. Cover the other side. Okay. And then you get your piece of plastic up. So imagine the other side is covered now with um, exactly like this. And now you're going to take your glue 
and this is not for the faint-hearted. I mean, to be perfectly honest, I would just open the blue bottle straight away. There. Oh, there's not much in there, actually. Let's try the other one. I've been using lots of this. And put a, a thick layer on top. So what you need to do now is you need to spread this out completely all over the antlers. It's a messy affair. Get it all in so that it can go in between these little cracks on every single bit of that set of antlers. If you don't have the stick it um, glue that we use, use an, another PVA glue as long as it's water based, a PVA glue, um, because it will dry completely clear. And if it's a if it's a really thick glue, add a little bit of water to it to thin it out. If it um, if you've already got a really thin glue, um, it will take a lot longer to dry. So just be prepared of that. Um, the um, the the less water is in the glue, the more quickly it will dry but make sure that you get the glue in into all of these cracks that the florist tape has left and I will also suggest whilst the, the antlers are drying make sure that you keep checking on them because sometimes instead of shrinking it down it can lift it off a bit more just push it down with your fingers so um, I would I would do this first thing get the antlers done and then work on your um, work on your reindeer and then now and then just check that you've got the um, the antlers are drying the way that you want them to dry but I'm absolutely certain that you will make a, an amazing set of antlers and um, I'm stuck here now with gluey fingers so I'm not gonna be much longer rest it on on um, on some I've, I've just cut open an old plastic bag or if you've got a um, something that you is not too precious and that you can either chuck in the bin or uh, wash up and get the glue off or uh, maybe you've got a craft mat that you can use and um, and basically uh, this is the finished look when you're done so this is what it will look like when the, um, the the glue has dried there will be lumps and bumps on it but then you know there are real antlers as well so um, I never said that it would be completely a masterpiece and um, ooh, I've got very gluey fingers now so I'm going to um, finish off here and I hope that you will enjoy making these antlers and not find it too um, I don't know, sticky and horrible. Um, just think of the end game. You will be ending up with amazing antlers. So look forward to that. And um, I look forward to seeing all your amazing reindeers. Thank you very much. Bye.